Lila. Just wanted to introduce you to my friend Molly. Molly is a border collie. She's an older dog, but to let you know, she hates her nails turned. So I want to show you what I go through with Molly. But first, I've already given her her bath because she was healthy. She rolled in something and it was disgusting. So now I'm going to give her a nice brush out and I'm going to slightly trim her because her owners do like her long, but they want sanitary done to her and um, just keep her a little easier. <laughs> Sure, I like using a comb because the comb pulls out the fine down hair that usually these don't grab all the time. So the comb is always a plus. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to trim along her body. Just so she's got a clean look. I'm going to take out her leg and just trim the bottom of the fur. Because remember, she's not here for a crazy haircut. She's just here for a cleanup. When trimming the inside of the pod, pad or the feet, we're just going to simply spread the toes, take your scissors, don't take a razor because they don't need to be shaved bald in between their toes. The hair in between the toes actually protects the toes from stickers and anything that might want to enter the foot. So don't make it bald. And we're just going to do that to all the feet. I'm basically just taking off the stuff that would get matted in between the feet. Now moving to the back legs, all I want to do is move my phone so you guys can see. So when trimming the back of the legs, I just want to make it look naturally flowy. So I'm cutting down with the hair never up. Always go with the grain and the hair. Always, always, always. When you're shaving them or even trimming them. She still has her border collie look, but it's not crazy excessively long.
Now to the nails. She is not a fan of nails. So I'm going to show you how to cut the nails on a little box. Only take what is needed. You can either go from the back, like I just did on that foot, or you can go for the front. Keep the leg at a natural tuck. I don't want to bring her leg way out here, way up here, because she's old and she can have hip problems. So we don't want that. We want her to have a natural tuck with her leg where she's comfortable. It's not about your comfort, it's about hers. Now to do the front. So when cutting the dog's nails, you can either go from the front You're okay. Molly. She's getting tense. <laughs> Keep a hold of the foot. Let them know you're not going to give up, but you're going to do the job. Good girl. Don't let her win. Because if she wins, you'll never be able to cut her nails again. So there was the front, and now we're going to do it from the back. So you can see I do it from the back. Again, let her be comfortable. Always keep the nail clippers flush with the pad. Do you see that? Flush with the pad. Only take off the hollow part of the nail, whether it be white or black or brown. Let me get down. Now we're going to clean her ears. Okay. With your ear stuff, I use Pro Ear. Love it. Been using it for like nine years. Always put it on the rag. She's all done. This is Shiloh with Shiloh's Peppermint or Peppermint Shiloh. Like and subscribe, leave your comments, and have a great day. And guess what today is? Happy Halloween!